Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this today's video, I want to tell a story. And um, please, if you listen to this story, I would like you to give me your thought in this story. Okay, my story goes like this. Um, you have a friend. Okay, let me put it this way. Okay, when I came to this country, this country of America newly, because I resided in the U.S., so when I came here new, newly, you know, most times we, we don't, what a lot of people don't understand is this, and I believe a lot of people know this too. That when you come to like um, tr uh, come to like a US, I, I, I want to use US because this is where I am familiar with. I don't know what happens in other countries because I've not lived in other countries. So when you come here, you know, um, for you to fit into the system, especially if you are a professional. When I say professional. I mean, like, a pro like you know, when you are like a doctor, an engineer, a lawyer, I know people with such profession, even a teacher, nurses, you can actually practice in the U.S. when you come. But when you, um, for you to practice, you have to go through, the, the, the process, there are processes you have to go through, right? You have to go through processes. It, let's, as, let's take, for instance, you're, maybe you're a nurse or from Nigeria or from anywhere. Or maybe you're a doctor or maybe you're an engineer or something. There are professional exams that you are expected to pass. You have to do the pro those professional exams. Then when you do, the, do them and you scare through, then you can be certified to practice that particular um, profession you had back home. You, you are certified to practice it. Okay, so when I came newly to this country, right? Um, we came with, when I say we, I mean myself and my husband, we came with, you know, this professional, professional um, background. So, but, you know, the one thing with this country of America is that when you come newly, like a friend told me when I came to this country initially, she said that America is a leveler, right? Leveler in the sense that when you come to this country first, it will first of all, you first of all start from the scratch. Of course, everybody know. I mean, it's expected because whatever you had back home, you're not coming with them. Even if you come with some cash, but you're still starting from like the basics, right? So, and you have, um, the when I came, I had like few, I just want to make this, um, my story a little bit as short as it can be and go straight to the point. But I hope um, anyone that's listening to me will be able to understand what I am saying and then Make, be able to put your input and then have an, a clear understanding of what where I am going. So, coming with um, that mindset, and there's one thing I've come to find out, and that is a very wrong mindset that our people have. And when I say our people, I mean most of our Nigerian, Nigerians, we have this, you know, this class mentality where you have to belong. So, a lot of people can only associate with you if you belong to a certain class, if you're a certain you know, person. But one thing people don't understand is that there's always tomorrow, you know. And tomorrow, like me, my language, they'll say chidi me. Tomorrow is really pregnant. The person who is big today might not be the person that will be big tomorrow. And the person that is small today might not be the person that will be small tomorrow, if you know what I mean. But unfortunately, when you are uh, people, a lot, of, a lot of our people have that mindset. And they still come to places like the U.S. or any other part of the world. Like I, I, I said at the beginning. I'm not really going to say much about people who live in other places, but I know I can talk about where I am because that's where I am familiar with. You find out that even with being in a place like this, and then um, you see, you realize that a lot of our people still have that class mentality where they, they have this mentality that we can only associate with you when you are somebody. Let me use that word, somebody. So, coming here, of course, when we came, you know, you come, you don't have anything, and so you have to go through the process for it to be fixed. So that initial time when I came, I met a lot of people, and then out of these people, there are just two that stood out for me. They were like, I could say they were the very first friends that I met when I came to this country. So, and you know, everybody's journey. These people were here already, don't get me wrong, they were already here in this country before I came. So, and... Of course, everybody's journey is always different. Some people get it faster, some people get it slower. At the end of the day, bottom line is that people will always get to where they plan to go or where God has proposed for them to be. 
So, um, I, I'm just sharing this video so that when you, anybody that comes across it, just please give me your opinion. What do you think? So, when I met these two ladies, they were like, they, I didn't meet them together. They were like two different people that I, I, I met them on different locations. And somehow, I could say that they were the first friends that I met when I came to this country. So, but something happened somewhere along the line. So, um, like I said, people's journey are different. So it took us maybe at a certain time I will start maybe giving us a little bit of you know of my you know my journey in this country how everything you know transpired, but then it took us like um, a while I could say like it took us almost like a seven years period to actually get settled not when I mean settled I don't mean getting the house or getting a job or something like that that's not what I mean but you know when you are a professional let's assume you're a doctor or maybe you're a nurse or something and you desire to practice in this country you can only consider yourself settled when you are able to go scale all through the uh, uh, through the holders and then begin to practice that profession that you love in this country right that is where you can say that is my own take when I say getting settled that is what I mean so when I came initially so I met those two ladies and we we're kind of friends we friends we share a lot of our ideas we share a lot of our journeys together and everything like I said they were already here with me and they were already here before I came so but then something I noticed something somewhere along the line that um, two of them you know eventually at different times in their lives went into the nursing program so that's something that that really struck me. That throughout the period, you know, most times when they, I always tell them, you know, where we are, our journey, and how things has been, they kind of um, not aligning, uh, you know, as far as you wanted it in in terms of us settling down. You know, when I say settle down, you remember what I said. What I mean, settling down. You know, getting into our profession. We want to practice in this land. And when I say we, I'm talking about myself and my husband because he came here as a professional. Likewise, myself. So we it, it took a little while. It took like almost seven years. And which these two people, and of course, they were my friends. I used to relate to them what was going on. But there's something I came to realize. You know, somewhere along the line, one of them first of all went through the nursing uh, program, and she finished her nursing school. Then I realized that as soon as this lady finished uh, nursing and started practicing, her attitude towards me changed because, like I said. At the time this whole thing was happening, we were still struggling to, you know, the me, I was struggling to get back to school and do what I need to do to get myself, you know, situated. My husband is doing his own thing, trying to, you know, get himself situated, but we are still working. I mean, of course, we are still doing what we're supposed to do at that point, but not really settled in the profession that we wanted to be in. So, and I realized that this lady, when she finished her nursing program, you know, her attitudes towards me changed, you know, this, she became this kind of, this is what you see her, you know, the way we used to talk, a lot of things change, even sometimes when we meet, maybe in the store and everything, you know, this kind of arrogance, sometimes you say hi to her, she'll be like, hello, you know, that kind of, I noticed that, you know, this kind of mentality of level don't change, yeah, you know, they the same level again, you know, that kind of mentality. So that will happen, and then, and I noticed the thing again with the other lady. In fact, that other one, you know, her own, I don't know, <laughs> it was funny. And what really bothered me was that one of them, you know, was one person that when I came, you know, we went through a lot. She, she was going through a lot then. So I remember that then she wanted to get into the nursing program. And I know her, I remember then that her husband said he didn't want her to do nursing because he, you know, the usual thing that people always say here that, when people, um, a lot of women, when they get into the nursing program, when they finish it, they become too arrogant and even their husbands, their families don't respect because they feel they're making money, blah, 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 blah. So we were among the people that were actually like trying to beg the husband, you know, ask him to, you know, if this is what she wants to do, please, for you know, allow her to do it and everything. It was a battle between her husband. I know how much I inter intervened and then he begged on her behalf for her to eventually get into. So what surprised me was that when this lady eventually finished her nursing program, her attitude towards me totally changed, completely changed. Likewise, the other person, don't get me wrong, these are not the only two people I know in this country because at the end of, you know, in the course of my stay, I began to meet other people, you know. But these two people stood out for me. That's why I'm telling this story now. So, they stood out for me. So, 
the whole thing fast forward to now. Then eventually, when I finished, there's some what um, Americans call prerequisites. For you to go into the nursing program here, you have to do what is called prerequisites. Prerequisites, irrespective of, it, despite the degree you have, you have to go through what is called a prerequisite. Like in some classes that could enable you to eventually get into the nursing school. So I took the whole thing, did everything, and then went into the nursing program. Um, but, but then this other, these two people already finished and they already practiced and then I noticed that it, but the point because of the way they were behaving and everything so at some point they, they didn't really know much about my journey anymore because of course we don't you know communicate that much anymore so they don't I, I want to believe that they not done because I didn't know but none of them knew exactly what where my journey in this country is because the only thing is that once in a while we meet maybe in parties and maybe we run into each other in stores and everything and you can always, always see this you know this kind of arrogant kind of a thing so yeah at, the, at some point it was i was like asking people what is it with this nursing program that seems like most women when they finish go to the nursing pro uh, go through nursing in america and they become such arrogant don't get me wrong it's not everybody because at the end of the day, I've come to meet a lot of amazing women, American, Nigerian women here, who are nurses. Our people are very resilient. A lot of them go into the nursing program, you know, who are nurses. But yet, you know, they, you still see that they are still themselves, you know. But there are few that, well, I don't know. Anyway, that is a story for another day. So, then, I, I, you know, then sometime, um, like a few years back, when eventually, I could say that eventually my... Um, one day, you know, one of them, because this one, these two people I'm talking about, one of them, the husband happens to be a close friend also, because when we met, we met, it was seeing my husband and everybody, we, we, we kind of close. So one, I think one time the husband ran into somebody. Um, like I said, we, the communication gap between us, it kind of widened the kind of a little bit. So I think the husband ran into somebody who eventually told him, that my husband has um, finally, you know, gotten into the system, if you know what I mean. He has finished his, his board exams and everything, has started practicing. So the man called and was like, oh, yeah, 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 you know, that kind of a thing. Oh, yeah, thank God for you. I heard that you're here now, blah, 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 you know, and that was it. So now when I noticed that this, his wife, who had been, not, Remember I said that this whole process took like seven years. I'm cutting the story very long. It took seven years for us to get to where I'm talking about that the whole, you know, trying to get into the system and then uh, everything. So, some, so after the whole thing, one of the days I saw this woman. This is somebody that already has started behaving funny to me. And then when she, um, when I think after the period that, I believe because her husband asked and I, I believe she got to know also that, oh, this man has eventually started practicing and it's like this people are beginning to settle down. So I didn't see her for a while. Then after like maybe long time, sometimes she can stay for like a year. We don't even see. That's how bad it is. So one time I met her and then she was trying to ask, oh, yeah, yeah you know, about the whole thing where we are and everything which I didn't oblige her the information because I was already pissed off. So then the other person, I, the other person, you know, like I said, us two of them, we are like asking. And don't get me wrong, these two people are not friends. They are not, they are people I know differently. So this other person too, I was surprised one day, this and this person, this someone that was a kind of started also started acting funny because she too finished nursing school and everything. So one day I saw her, you know, and then she came to me. She was like, "Hey, doctor's wife." Da, da 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 I'm like, "Okay, why are you telling me? This is somebody that, for some reason, you just stopped talking to me. Stopped started acting funny towards me. So deep down within me, and then I I forgot to say that in the course of the whole thing, I myself went into the nursing program and eventually I graduated. You know, that was just few months ago <laughs> not so for long ago just to last year so but i now realize that these two people it seems like now they are trying to be friendly with me again 
So the day the other one saw me, I was, you know, helling me as, oh, doctor's wife, hey, now you're beginning to eat doctor. I'm like, wait. So this is what this whole thing has been all about all this while. Oh, now I get it. So the reason why this, you guys, were, these people were acting like this towards me was because they felt I am not in their class. Or maybe because they felt like, okay, it has taken too long for these people to get settled. So it's like their own case is hopeless. So I cannot associate with you because you I don't belong to my class. You know? So, and um, deep down within me, I'm like, okay, so this is what this whole thing is all about. And in my mind, I made up my mind that I wasn't going to have anything to do with them. The reason why I started making this post is because I ran into one of them just yesterday. Today is Monday. I don't know where you come across this video. Today is Monday, the 20... What date is today, sir? Today is Monday. Um, yeah. 22nd, 23rd, I believe. Today is Monday, the 23rd. 23rd. Of January 2023 I don't know when you come across this though. so I ran into one of them in a birthday party yesterday that is the 22nd and they were like made this person in the party. she was trying to like this is somebody that this is someone that for the past almost like five years that has been acting funny towards me since she finished her own some program and everything and you know and then she saw me she was trying to a kind of be friend and this is not the first time she tried to be friendly in if, about almost like seven eight years then she tried to be friendly and i made it very clear to her say look i cannot and funny enough I, what made me believe that the reason why she's doing this is because she's trying to be friendly now is because of the class thing is because um before this is somebody addresses me as my name by, by my name then the few the, probably after she must have heard that i have you know gone through my own process and my husband has gone through his own process and i was like we're kind of settled, settling down now so she doesn't call me the first time she addressed me she did not address me by my name she addressed me as doctor's wife so that was when i'm like okay so this is all about they, you know, it's all about title. Like, I don't know if you're trying to get what I mean. You understand what I mean? Like, where I feel like people just want to associate with you based on who they think you are. Or sorry, not who they, what they think you are. You know, what they think you have or what they think you are. And that is what I call relationship by convenience. And then I made up my mind. I said, I told her, I said, look, don't even bother to come anywhere close to me. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. So all these years you've been acting funny towards me because you thought I would never make it because you thought I am not in the same class with you. Maybe you waited for seven years, eight years, and you think, oh, this person is not measuring enough. I don't have anything to do with her, with her because she is low here. More. And now maybe since we don't communicate now, now maybe you've began, you've you've heard from people that oh, okay, these people are already settled now. They are. And now you think that I have come to the level of the people you want to, you know, associate with. And I told her, I said, don't you ever see me anywhere again. I'm coming anywhere close to me because I don't want to have nothing to do with you. And that brings me to, that's why I'm making this video. I don't know whoever are listening to my, because I try to make this story as short as possible. And so that this video wouldn't be too long. The point I'm trying to make here is this. You know, I don't know if anyone, if anybody, if you come across this, if you have experienced something like that, where people don't want to associate with you based on the fact that they think that you don't belong to their class and then suddenly things change for you and such people want to come back to you. Do you accept them back? Do you want to be with them? For me, if you think I am nobody, when you believe in your own brain that I am here, when eventually I get here, don't come close to me. Because to me, I see that as friendship of convenience. And that is one thing that I cannot tolerate in my life. I cannot tolerate friendship of convenience. I don't, it is not my thing. First of all, I don't, I don't, I hate class discrimination. I hate it. I hate it. And I just don't like it. I don't like 
anything that has to do with discrimination whatsoever because of class or because of anything. I don't like it. I don't play that game. So if you think maybe at some point, oh, this person is not up to my class and then suddenly you wake up, you hear, oh, she has made it now. Let me find a way to get. No, mm -mm. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. And that's one thing I've come to find out that a lot of our people do. They do it back home and they do it. And I'm surprised that a lot of them still bring, uh, brought it to this uh, uh, um, Western world where they see, we still have this mentality of class where they, somebody will see you, they first of all size you up, check the kind of clothes you wear, check the kind of car you drive, check the claim. First of, they first of all access you before they want know, they decide whether they want to associate with you or not. I don't even, I don't know, I don't know why, what goes on in the mind of human beings. What makes you think that the person you see down today will not be up tomorrow? This life is, has twists and turns. A big man today can be a small person. A small person today can be a big man. Irrespective of what it is, we are all human beings. Whatever we think we have is just temporal. The Bible will say vanity upon, upon vanity. Why would any sensible person want to associate with somebody simply because of what they think that person has? It's unfortunate. It's a mindset that our people has that really, you know, gets on my skin so much. Anyway, I just wanted to share this um, um, story. Like I said, this story is, I, I don't know, I try my best to make it as short and as brief as possible because in the course of these seven years a lot of things transpired between of all the people i know these two people stood out because of this behavior i'm telling you and then recently because like i said they didn't hear my story for a very long time maybe they they hear from other people because you know at some point we became like a community you know when you're in a place like this everybody seems to know everybody maybe they heard stories and now they're trying to get back try to find a way to get close to me again i'm like no i don't want to i don't want to deal with you i don't want to because i've been snubbed these individuals have snubbed me they have you know indirectly insulted me like not really insulting and i polite you know when i say politely you know this you know somebody you know very well you see in a party and you want to go the person will be like hey, you know that kind of they look at you like you know as if you're a nobody and then suddenly you want to wake up and want to associate with me. Mm -mm. I'm not going to have anything to do with you. That is just me. I'm not going to have anything to do with you. That is just truth about it. I do not like relationship by convenience. I do not like friendship by convenience. I do not like it. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're not coming to me as a friend. You are not a friend to me. You are just coming because of what you think you can get. Or maybe because of, you know, I don't know. I don't know the word to use. But to me, that is not friendship. So you don't even come to me with that behavior. Anyway, that's just my, whatever you, you think. I don't know if anyone that comes across this video, if you've experienced anything like that, or if you have your thought to put it down for me, you know, put it down in the comment section. You know, that is just my experience. Like I said, this video, I try to make it as short as possible so that I don't go too much into details about the thing that a lot transpired, a lot happened, a lot, I experienced a lot. And it really bothered me. And then coming to this point now that I have to share it, I don't know what you think. Have you ever experienced anything like that? If you have, if somebody treats you like that, will you want to get back to be friends with that person anymore? To me, that is no friendship. But whatever is your thought, leave it at the comment section. I would really like to know what is your people's opinion concerning this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.